Yo, what is up, you crazy psychopaths? I uh, just wanted to say thanks for all the continued like DMs and messages and tweets, emails even. I'm always, uh, honestly, just like really shocked that so many of you guys enjoy the videos and click on the videos. I know that I don't put as much effort into like the production and stuff because I just don't care about that and it's just not really who I am and I know we don't have the biggest community um, even in this like small little niche of photography or film photography. Um, but yeah, the, re the reason that I put together these little videos when I can is because of you guys. So yeah, I missed you guys. I hope everybody's had like a good, I guess, mid to end summer as we go into fall. I don't think I've made a video in about two months. So yeah, I'm still here, uh, been busy, but yeah, I think you guys are gonna like this one. So this video is actually super sick. Um, I went to one of my favorite places in all of the United States. If you're not a American citizen, I would highly encourage you, or if you are an American citizen and you've never been to Oregon and you're interested in nature or photography or both, um, Oregon is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful places um, in the world, especially the coast is even so much different than say the California coast or the Florida coast. And I'm lucky enough to, when I went to college or university, way back in the day in 2012 to 2015 ish uh, a lot of my roommates and good friends that i met when i got to college in the state of virginia were actually from oregon so that kind of started like my love affair with the state and i had a few days open over the long holiday weekend so i said hey i'm going to go see my college roommates because i haven't seen them in a few years and I'll take some photos. And I made the mistake of putting something on my Instagram story about making a video. So that's what this video is. Really quick, um, as always, it's hard to talk to people and not fall off cliffs into the ocean and take good photos and make videos. Um, I'm definitely not talented enough to do that. And so I did uh, not get as many clips as I would have liked, but I did get a lot of photos to put in the video for you guys. So really quick, I just wanted to say the three locations that I went to. I went to Cape Kiwanda Beach, um, which is the beach with like all of the rugged cliffs and stuff. Um, I took a ton of photos there. And I went to Mount Hood. I don't think it's a national park, maybe it is, but it's like a really famous area, especially for like skiing and snowboarding. And I went to Trillium Lake, which is a sunrise spot as far as I can research or understand. But I went at sunset because I didn't want to wake up at like 4 a.m. and drive. When I was 23, I probably could have sent that photo mission, but I'm too old and dusty now. So I went to Trillium Lake at Mount Hood. Um, Nathan will label these for you guys. Um, and then the last place I went, was called Neskowin Beach. I'm sure it's pronounced uh, differently. I wanted to spend some time with my roommates um, and not just be like driving all over the state for the three or four days that I had there. So I went out to Neskowin um, and shot like midday, super bright sun. And yeah, because that's kind of all the time I had. And so you'll see those photos as well. I didn't take a ton there. Okay, so I gave you why I was there. I gave you where I shot. And lastly, I shot everything on a Mamiya 7 with an 80 millimeter lens. Um, and a Contax T2, which has a 38 millimeter lens. I shot all of the Contax T2, so anything that is 35 millimeter, I'm not labeling them for you, um, and I'm not making Nathan do it, but you should be able to tell um, it's a little bit less quality, and the aspect ratio is a bit different, but all of those were shot on Kodak Gold 200, because portrait is just getting expensive. And even if I can't afford it, I don't always like spending the money on it. So those all 35 millimeter photos, if you can identify those, um, we're shot on Kodak Gold 200. If you can't identify those, leave a comment. If I see it, I'll respond, or I'm sure somebody will help you out. And all medium format photos on the Mamiya 7 were shot on Portra 400. And the Nesca Wind photos during the day, I shot on Portra 160 because I love shooting Portra 160 in the daytime. So yeah, that's the rundown. Whoops, that's where I was. That's why I was there. That's where I shot. And that's the gear that I used. Hope you guys enjoy the clips. If you ever get a chance, go to Oregon. And yeah, leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you haven't, or you don't, it's fine, whatever. Love you guys, hope you enjoy the video, and hope this travel uh, little vlog inspires you guys to save up your own pennies like I do, and get out there and take photos. Unless you live in a place that's that beautiful and you can just go there anytime, then um, we all hate your guts. Alright, peace.